Hey, it's Rob D'Amico with The Big Green Egg here at East 48th Street Market with owner and founder Charlie Argello. Am I getting that right? That's perfect. All right, yeah, excellent. Well, I appreciate yeah. it. How long have you guys been in business We've here? We've been here since uh, 1986. So. This is a place that you can find in your local area as well. Make sure, it's, it's nice to go shop at some of these uh, local uh, delis and markets like that. There's a lot of uh, little secret ingredients that you don't have to go onto the internet. You just come here locally and you can pick it up, like fresh pizza dough, your rice, or whatever, whatever the ingredients are. If they're Italian, we have it. And that's what we're going to show you today. We're going to show you how to cook a pizza on the Big Green Egg. Let's get started by showing you some of the accessories we have for the Big Green Egg. The most important one is, is your pizza stone, which is made of the same material as your egg and designed to bake and brown the bottom of your pizzas. Uh, pizza peels, that's another thing you're going to want. Is this, this is a wood one. This is probably the most popular one we have, the wood pizza peels. We also have a metal version that has the wooden handle, uh, which a lot of people like as well because it slides off. You put a little cornmeal on there and it slides off nice and easy. Uh, some of the other ones we have is a pizza pan. The pizza pan is basically a perforated pan that you can have, you can have it for serving. Uh, and speaking of a serving, we have a great server right here. You slice the pie, you put it under, you can serve it to your guests. It's nice to have this as well. Some of the cutters. Uh, we have a rocker cutter right here. Uh, one of the popular ones you can stick down on there and rock it back and forth to cut the pizzas. Also the roller. The roller is pretty nice as well. The roller, uh, I like this one uh, personally because you can roll it nice like you do in the sea in the pizza parlors. That's really cool. And since we're talking Italian food, how about this? The calzone maker. You stick your dough in there, put your ingredients on the one side, and you flip it closed. When you open it back up, you have your calzone. You take it out, you stick it right there on the stone, and you're ready to go. Another one of the products, and this is for kind of the new school pizza makers, not the old school guys like Charlie, but this is a uh, dough mat, basically. And uh, what the dough mat does is shows you the different size pies that you can make, a 16, a 14, 12, 10, 8, and it depends on the stone that you have and the egg that you have. But this is uh, kind of an important piece for somebody who's starting off with new pizzas. I totally agree, because once you do this uh, several times, then you'll have a free hand at it, and then you can experiment on your own. But this is a great starter. Hey, let me show you how to set up your egg if you're going to cook a pizza on the big green egg. So right now I'm going to show you basically that I want you to fill your egg to the top of the firebox with the 100% lump charcoal that the big green egg sells. And then you're going to take a fire starter. You're going to light the fire starter. You're going to stick it and nestle it down in the center here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your plate setter. You want your legs up and you're going to stick it in the notches here. And then what we like to do is put our cooking grid on. And I like to have the cooking grid go north and south from where you're standing, from front to back, basically. And at that point, we're going to add our pizza stone on there. And then we're going to let that warm up. I'm going to let that warm up to a temperature about 600 degrees, maybe even 650. That's where I like it at. But that's how you set up your egg here at the Big Green Egg. And now we're going to get some ingredients out here and show you how to make some pizza and pizza dough. It's all coming up next. Stick around. All right, now that we have our egg all set up outside, we got the plate setter on there, we got the baking stone on there, and we're letting the temp get up to about, I like it between 6 and 650. That's where we're going to cook our pizzas today. Uh, right now, though, Charlie from East 48th Street Market is going to show us the different styles of dough because, again, you can do a, a pizza right out of the box, you can do the store-bought dough, or you can make your dough from scratch. Either way is okay. It depends on the time that you have and the ingredients that are in your house at that point. But go ahead, Charlie, let's see what we got here. With today's purposes, we're gonna start with one inside of the bag. But there's also different types of, a lot of people hear the double zero. Talk about that a little bit in that flour. Well, the double zero is, uh, is here. This is a different mix. And what makes it different is that uh, in Italy, they grade their flours differently than the United States. United States, we, we call out the protein, uh, high, different levels of protein. But in Italy, they call it one, zero or double zero and usually the double zero is a finer grind and it's also from a different part of the wheat germ so it also takes a different water content than regular dough so therefore it's ideal for high temperature doughs. All right show us how to open this up and we can get started. We we'll start out like this take some flour dust the top dust your board and then put your hand in like so and just just Gently take it out like so. If it starts to stick, take a little bit more flour, and here you go. 
Now our dough size is one pound. So you can make a thicker dough at 10 inches or a thin dough at 16. So we're going to today, this is the best way. So you notice now it's round already, so it makes your life a lot easier. Yes. <laughs> so now this is going to be a little tacky. So just reverse it like so and start out like so. Okay, you notice it's already increased by three inches. So an easy way to do this is you pick the dough up like this and just keep tossing it. This is easy. Don't try to get too fancy with it because otherwise it's going to, you're going to have some problems that it's going to get out of yeah, shape. Yeah, you know me, I'm tossing that thing over my head. It's sticking right. to the roof. I don't know now, what's going on. So then you could pick it up like this. And as you do this and rotating, because you notice my hand is rotating, you're literally stretching the dough. All right, so now we're done here. What's so our we're next just step? That, well, I'm just going to stretch it just a tad more. Okay. Because what you want to do is you'd like to get it a little bit larger than your, your finished size. Because what happens is when you put it down, see, you notice it gets a little bit smaller. Yep. Okay, so now what we want to do is put the dough on a peel. Okay, I got the peel right here. Okay, we can put the peel right here. And All what right. we do is you put a little bit of cornmeal. Now the cornmeal acts as a spacer for your dough and it allows you to, to slide the dough into the egg. And I'm going to show them a, a real quick trick here. As you're putting the cornmeal on, this is a lot of the way the old school guys put it on, the wood peel, throw it in the oven, you always see it popping off. Sometimes you have trouble when you're first learning how to do these pizzas. You can also get parchment paper, which I cut out to the same size as a stone, and you lay that on there, lay your pizza on there, and you can put it that way and slide this right onto your baking stone on the egg. That also will help you, and we're going to do that as we'll well. Do it later. But we're mm -hmm. going to show you how right now. Okay. With the corn so then you pick this up very gently, like this, and then you place it. And then because of the cornmeal, it doesn't stick and allows you to set it. Then you take. I'm going to move this back over here real quick so you can see it. You take some sauce. Yep. And, and here's the important thing. A lot of people glob on sauce in different spots. Put it in the middle and start your, work your way out. This. Yep. this is a good way of doing it. You'll get a symmetrical amount. And also people like crust. It just allows you to keep it about a half inch from the end. And another thing, and this is more personal preference, not too much sauce. You don't need to over sauce the pizza. A lot of people make that mistake. And uh, a good way to do that uh, is to just put enough on there, spread it out, a nice thin layer, and that is perfect right there. Now what I like to do is I like to put cheese on it. Now this sauce has already been cooked, so it has some salt, pepper, and seasoning. But I like to put my cheese underneath. And now we're going to put mozzarella. Now if we were doing like pepperoni and other items, what we'd like to do is we'd like to put that on over the sauce before we put the mozzarella on. And the reason being is that if you put it on top, you're cooking at six, seven hundred degrees, those items get crispy and almost burnt, so you really don't have a flavor. Yeah. By putting it underneath, it cooks and then gives you great flavor. And you also, the, you know, a lot of people will put a little light layer of cheese on, put the pepperoni on or their sausage, and then put another light layer of cheese on it as well. Right. It, again, it's preference. This is what's Personal great. Preference. Yeah, great about the egg. You do some experiment. Don't be afraid. Uh, the way you cook it, you could cook it at a lower temperature at 450. Just keep it on longer, or you can do it like this in a high temp uh, on the big green egg. So it's that simple. This one is done. Well, let's go outside and get these pizzas on the grill. All right, Charlie and I are outside now. We got the big green egg set about 600 degrees. We're going to get the pizza on there now. We're going to open this up. We got our pizza stone on there. Make sure you burp the egg. Let that oxygen go in. And you can see the egg's already in there. It's heating up. So Charlie's going to add that. Uh, there it is. Nice slide right off. That is perfect right there. So now we're going to let this sit at about 600 degrees. We're going to come back and check it. All right, it's been about uh, seven, eight minutes. Remember, burp the egg at this high temp. Let the oxygen go. Oh, look at, oh, that. Look at that. Oh, that man, really that looks good. great. All right, Charlie and I are going to bring this inside, cut it up, and enjoy pizza cooked on the Big Green Egg, the ultimate cooking experience. Log on to BigGreenEgg.com, keyword pizza, for more tips and recipes.